First Timothy 1 verses 12 to 17 says, I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has strengthened me because he considered me faithful, putting me into service, even though I was formerly a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent aggressor. Yet I was shown mercy because I acted ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was more than abundant with the faith and love which are found in Christ Jesus. It is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners among whom I am foremost of all. Yet for this reason, I found mercy so that in me as the foremost, Jesus Christ might demonstrate his perfect patience as an example for those who would believe in him for eternal life. Now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Do we approach unbelievers with the same love and grace that Jesus Christ himself has approached us with? Here, Paul is acknowledging that he is the foremost or had been the foremost of sinners, as he calls himself. He acknowledges that he was formerly a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent aggressor. Do we approach believers who are faltering? Do we approach non-believers who do not know? Do we approach them with this same grace that our Lord has approached us with, where it is more than abundant with the faith and the love which are found in Christ Jesus? Do we zero in and focus on people this way with more abundant grace? As we prepare to enter into this week and we'll meet different people that God has placed in our past, let us ensure that we are dealing with people with a grace that is more abundant, that reflects the exact way that Christ deals with us.